Hi, I am Ganapati Bhatt from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we will see how to import a packet file from ADLS Gen2 in our developer client. Agenda of this video is brief introduction to Power Exchange for ADLS Gen2 connector, prerequisites required for this connector, and steps to import a sample packet file with a demo. Informatica data quality has a native power exchange for ADLS Gen2 connector which has to be used for data read or write operations with ADLS Gen2. This is a license based connector. Also this connector supports different file types like flat file or CSV file, packet files, Avro files, JSON files, etc. Regarding the prerequisites. We have to create a metadata access service in admin console. Need to set in for parser home environment variable at the metadata access service level. Also metadata access service should be accessible from the developer client machine with a defined port. Need to provide storage blob data contributor or storage blob data reader role to your Azure application. Need to create a ADLS Gen2 connection from admin console or developer client. Let's quickly move on to the demo. In the admin console, I have already created a metadata access service with a port of 7680. By default, this port will be 7080. However, you can use any of the available HTTP or HTTPS ports. I have already set the info parser home environment variable in the metadata access service. The location is info home services shared Hadoop CDH 6.3. I have also created a ADLS Gen2 connection and this connection is, test is successful. Let's uh, jump on to the developer client. In the developer client we need to click on a project new and data object. In this data object we have to select Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 data object click on next you can name it as ad ls underscore demo you need to select resource format as packet and we have to select ADLS gen2 connection click ok in the resources option we have to click on add here we have to click on the ADLS Gen2 file system. And uh, navigate to the folder where the packet file is present. I have a sample packet file in this folder which is user data one dot packet. Need to select that file. And click OK. And we have to click finish. The packet file format is imported in the developer client machine and uh, two data object operations are created. One is read operation and another one is write operation. In the advanced tab of these uh, two data operations, we will have multiple options like file system name override, directory override or a block size etc. Using this imported ADLS Gen2 object, we can create a mapping. Click on new mapping. I will name it as m underscore test underscore demo. Click finish. Use this ADLS Gen2 as a source for a read operation and use a simple flat file as a target. Save the mapping and click on run mapping. As we can see mapping run is successful. For more details about our power exchange for ADLS Gen2 connector in data quality Please refer the user guide from our documentation portal docs.informatica.com. We would like to hear a feedback from you. Please drop us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com. 
Also, you can send us your queries in our Twitter account, InfoSupport. Thank you.